Hi, this is Manesh Bakshi here and welcome. Thanks for being a valued client. And as you know, in these short information videos, I give you quality of information and comparing different reports or giving some tips on how to actually benefit from the reports. Today, I'm going to share with you this report and the question that you should be asking is, is this person a D or a person C? You might be like, what do you mean by that? Well, I will explain this. This person's report, and thanks to Chad Lubin for this one, he had an employee or candidate tested for uh, this, and there were two different reports taken. One was the one which quite a few people use, Tony Robbins' version, and after the world version was taken, he actually had the person take the report that I provide, which is from Target Training International, and he was able to discern the difference, and I know that if you see it, you will discern the difference as well. So let me give you the scenario. There is a person that you are going to be hiring as an assistant and you look at this particular report and tell me if this person would be a good candidate. So here is the uh, Tony Robbins version. Let me share the screen with you. Okay. And this sharing the screen here tells me this is the Tony Robbins version. So you can see the natural D is 21 and then 56, and uh, I 67 and 53, S 63, 25, which is a huge gap, as you can see between D, natural and adapted, S as well, and the C is 88 and 60. So it's interesting to read this report from here because in my opinion, it should be easy enough for us to look at this report and say, there seems to be some real gap here. The D points are very different in natural and adapted, and same thing with S is very high part, part. But assuming that the report is right, you might say, hey, this person may have enough of S, enough of I, but definitely high enough C and could be an assistant. Let's see the report from the target training, the other version that I use, okay? So, And let me just reshare this one here so that it becomes easier for you to look at this. So here is the other one. So now you can see this person has a very high D, right? Okay, quite relatively high enough I in the adapted style. In the natural style, the D and I are very close, close, not really far apart, but the C is low. Does this really look like an administrative person? The answer is no. This person is actually more of a DI, which means outgoing, making things happen kind of person, rather than a typical administrative assistant whose job is to take orders, right? So if you are making an important decision like hiring, developing your team, what should you trust? And that's the reason I wanna make sure that you are using the right report to understand what your candidate or employee's profile is, Otherwise, you might be making a decision which may be a mistake on your part, assuming the information. So that's what I want to make sure you understand that there are different versions of this reports out there, but some are not really that accurate. And you might be making an important decision like hiring without actually using the right information. So once again, if you have any questions on that, call me. And the reason I use this particular report is it's used by millions of people worldwide. It has been tested across for different things like adverse impact called EEOC, if you understand that, basically equal employment opportunity and so on and so forth. So it really stands up to scrutiny by different you know, organizations. And hence, you know that when you're making a decision, which is an important decision like hiring, you're using the right information, right report, to make that decision. Anyway, thanks for giving me the opportunity to share today. And I look forward to talking to you soon.